Hey there guys, welcome back to Nimby Rails. We're back in Edinburgh today and we're actually going to build the main line again this time. I want to ideally get to the Fife Bridge but I'm going to start out of Waverley so we'll see how far we actually get. Um, I know the first station is Haymarket so we will build that first and then get the track up to it. I think it's probably the best bet. The station is here. So, platforms. Just double check we don't have curved platforms yet by the looks of it. So oh, I'll slow it down as well so it doesn't lag quite as much. How long are those platforms? Do they feel like reasonable lengths? Maybe a little bit longer. That'll do. Um Haymarket. There we go. And it's sort of two double track tunnels all the way through to not quite all the way there um, by the looks of it I thought they went a bit further than they actually do okay so basically the tunnels continue up they come out of the station and they run up to here where they exit so then I'll come back the other way and these run down to the station, like so. Out here, they kind of... I mean, they just run through and connect up here, but then there's some junctions as well. So, connect up the main lines first, and then put in the points. So that's done. And then it's just a matter of around here, we have... Um, I don't know how the lines are numbered, so I'm going to go with one at the top and four at the bottom. One to two and four to three. Two to three. Then three to two. And three to four. And finally, two to one. There we go. And that goes into the tunnel towards Haymarket and comes out into the station. Out the other side of Haymarket is where it starts to get a little bit complicated. So by the looks of it, we have four tracks along here. And they continue down into the main four platforms so I'm just going to put those in then what I will do is I want to parent the left two off of that one and that just gives me my nice four tracks that I can build out with properly if I parent that to there and that to there I can just nicely drag those around together sorted. Now to work out what sort of junction is going on here. <laughs> this looks like it could be getting a bit complicated. So there's a double track off curves round down. We'll leave it there for now. That also has a single track doing that there. And that carries on a, la a full on ladder after that junction. So across there and across there. There's also a set of points across like that and that will presumably allow access to the bay platform. Platform zero as I believe it is numbered. Like so. Then there's also a line off that into a kind of loop siding thing of some de some description um not quite sure what happens but how long have i carried on my four tracks for they really need to continue quite away i mean like to bull green for now will do so if i carry on the four tracks 
I will need to viaduct across that, so that's fun. There we go. And we continue down, and then Bull Green. That's where we were continuing to. So, back up here, we have a depot. A haymarket depot, to be precise. Um, at, th at this road, just after this road, is where a line comes off here. And that then crosses over all four tracks in a ladder to come off the last one there, by the looks of it. So I then need to ladder up across all of the tracks. You know, it's certainly something I've noticed in the, the area in the south of England especially. Typically there seems to be less freight going on. South of London, uh, it, it, ignoring Cornwall and Devon, there seems to be less freight going on. There's less of these sort of awkward depots and junctions to contend with. And a lot of just double track main lines. Whereas the further north you go, the more complicated it gets. So, there's, by the looks of it, just off there, some sidings. It comes up, it curves around, and it stops about there. And it's just a collection of sidings. Some of them seem to be in some sort of shed, but not to the point that I'm actually going to put a depot in. Because that'll be in the next set. Sort of like that-ish. Maybe we'll have another couple come off there. Like so. And that'll do. But then also, this line continues on. Uh, and actually with a second track. Which we'll just bring out there, because that's close enough to where it actually is. And these open up into the main haymarket depot where I will put some depots because it's ages since I've done depots and that runs along here so then I just need to parent everything together the standard standard step of making a depot it's a bit time consuming but Makes everything look pretty. So parent, 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 parent. Then I'm just going to pull it up to... Oh, apparently that didn't parent properly. Up to there. And then these all sort of branch out of this line. I'm going to bring everything from that point up, out of that line. So that comes out to the top. And then as we just curve out of all of these into the depot lines. And maybe out of there for the last one. Um, this line runs along the bottom, but it's also going to have a junction up to hit the last two depot lines. That seems sensible. And we'll just branch off there to come into the last one. There we go. This line along the bottom continues on, and it just becomes a head shunt by the looks of it, which ends around there. We'll just bring it up to there. And then points off there, and that comes up to the depot lines again. Like so. 
and I just need to wrap out of that line to form all the entrance tracks. Oh, not not off there. That's not where I wanted you. So it's sort of like this. Um, just pull that down. There we go. And pull that in. And the last one. There we go. Done. Then we also have a double track that comes down here. Ish, kind of. And off that, a single track to connect up to the earlier one from there. Obviously, it has a pretty standard... I don't know what I've done there. Pretty standard set of points like that, just to allow access to the other line. Um, weird stuff then happens there, but I'm going to leave it at that for now. I think that feels easiest. What I might do is just bring that this this line down a little bit further, so it's a bit more obviously disconnected. If you if, if I leave a dead end too close to a, a through line, and when I'm zoomed out, I won't be able to see that it's a dead end still. So I try and pull them away a reasonable distance so that I can see. It's still waiting for work. If I go and look at... I should look at the right diagram just to see what's going on here. Okay, so they do... they are staggered. Fun. Um, technically this set of points is on the bridge, but that is more effort than it's worth. So, it's not now, basically. And come around and into there. Just connect that up, and we're sorted. So that's that join. Then that staggers all, all the way across to the other two lines. So we have... Well, I guess I could just do double points. Can I do double off there? Yes, I can. Like so. And again, double off there. Great to do like that. But I will have to just move that node. There we go. Sorted. What next? Um, at some point, the four tracks split into two two tracks. That happens down at Slouton, which is a bit of a way away. So until then, I can just continue on as four tracks to here. Then delete those two, parent off there, these two can turn up there, and the other two come down here. What have we got then? Um, I'll go and build Edinburgh Park quickly, and I'll probably stop that line there because it's not the line I wanted to follow today. Um, I just want to get it in. I also want to get it in with those connected, so what we will do, because I have the pedestrian path now, problem is I have to, yeah, it still has to be, what should I turn off? Um, oh, there we go. <laughs> it still has to be 60 meters long, so you have to do it at some sort of weird angle sometimes to catch that. What I could do actually is... Just this. There we go. And that, that will connect the name through. And if I go back to high speed, turn off that. Bring this line along and through and up there. So that connects us through to Edinburgh Park. The other way at Slouton comes up to South Guile. 
which is... I, I don't want to say in the middle of nowhere, because it is in the middle of the city, but it's not connected to the trams. That's what my brain was thinking when it came up with in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> South Guile. And then we also have Edinburgh Gateway, which I think is connected to the trams. That's up here. Which again, I'm going to need a pedestrian path for by the looks of it. So, pedestrian path, single track. That's quite a way actually to connect up. If I connect that underground, then it won't try and form a level crossing there of sorts. Back to high speed, and we'll connect the tracks up. So, off there. We come round and up. And I will make a minor adjustment to try and get it across that road. There we go. It's a bit of a wiggle there, but you know, track naturally wiggles. No track is perfectly straight. Over the motorway. And in there, we'll just straighten that out a bit. There we go. Coming past Edinburgh Gateway, there's a junction. Fun. I wasn't anticipating a junction, I will be honest. So, how do I want to deal with that? I mean, it's a bit of a way up. You can't see it the map I'm looking at. I, I do acknowledge that. <laughs> it's not ideal. Um, right. Let me just put in the station at Down Melly then. That's after the junction, but getting the station in I think would be a good start. So the station comes in there. We'll give it the correct name. Um, that's still an issue, is it? I still have to be hovering over the correct box to actually be able to use the keyboard. Fun. I thought that might have been fixed by now. Let's just bring the main double track down where it's meant to go. Oh, I have to go over that. Okay. And round. And that comes down here. I might just bring it all the way down to Edinburgh Park. Once again, a viaduct is needed. And round and in. There we go. Then up here, just south of Down Many, there's some freight stuff to deal with. Actually, I don't think it's exclusively freight, to be fair. I think um, some peak hour services use it as well, this curve. Now we come off there, and it wraps around there and into double track I'd rather you be on the other side, I'm going to be honest because then I can just bring out a set of points from there and in sorted I'll just pull that round a little bit so we do have to make quite a turn there there we go and it will run down parallel to the motorway there through Kirkliston. And it looks like it joins onto the other line I have here. Somewhere around there, who knows. Um, we've got the crossover, then there's also a loop on each side and some other stuff. But we'll start with the loops. Loops first, then the other stuff. So the loops run up to the station, as you might expect. So we'll just bring that one in, and then the other one, which rather unusually actually starts and ends in the same place. Normally they're staggered somewhat. 
but not in this case. So we'll bring it down to there. Up here we have a crossover, not there, here. Like that. There's a just a small little stub of line off here into its own siding. And a couple of sidings on the other side that are, are not necessarily going to be 100% accurate. One there and one up there. Sorted. Out of down many, I think we're sort of ending up towards the bridge now. I would hope. Yes. So, the main thing here is working out exactly how we get across. It should just be a pretty much straight line, I think. So it comes across North Queen's Ferry. Where does it... It crosses there. So it's a straight line to there, I believe. There we go. And this wraps round and into Dalmany Station. On the other side, it needs to go into North Queen's Ferry Station, which is just there. And we'll get rid of the primary school off the end. And okay, apparently I'm going to have to do that in more than one segment. If I want to connect it up looking nice. There we go. Sorted. We did get the five railway bridge in. That was a bit longer than I expected, so I'm going to stop there for today. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next one.